Well, hello there, everybody. My name is Wolfos in the Hat. Wolf in the Hat. Hat on a wolf. Uh, uh, my name is Wolfos, and welcome back to Attack of the B Team. I couldn't really think of anything on the spot that would have been cool, but we are here again with another episode. Thank you so much for the support on the last episode. You guys, you guys are awesome. And today we have some really, really cool things planned. So if you're excited, as always, obviously, make sure you leave a comment and a like down below. It seems like you guys have been really enjoying telling me what to make in terms of food. So if you guys do not know, every episode I take um, a food suggestion at the end of the episode, I make it. So uh, go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. And obviously, leave a like as well, all that jazz. But let's jump right in. So before we actually get into our episode... I might, might need to go poop. I'm kind of feeling like I need to poop. But but before that, <laughs> if you guys didn't know the last episode, Kralis left a little poop station. Turns out it wasn't to scare me. It was actually because he made extras. So I'm a little sad about that. But we're going to pretend it was because he scared me and it was because I pooped my pants. So here we go. We got another present, this time from Skiz, also known as Skiz. If you guys watch my Cops and Robbers videos, you guys know that I recorded with him. Super cool dude. And he says, heard you are in need. These should help you out. Let's check out what it is. What is that? Money, money? Oh, block of Manilium. Nice. And a block of Kabult. Oh, baby. That is so, so nice. I was actually, um, I know I know why he said that. I was talking to them uh, before. I say that when I go to the nether, it's really hard to find Kabult and Ardite because I think all, all the surrounding area has been taken. And apparently, they have tons. So, that is really, really awesome that they have shared... Uh, that amount would be super cool. Thank you so much, Schism. You are a champion. We are definitely going to be using this in the near future to craft some pretty cool things. We almost have, like, all of our, our necessary tools, but we can always use more. There's no such thing as um, too many tools. That's for sure. So, um, in this episode, the first thing we actually need to do is check this out. And I want you to know, I want you to think and answer. Who do you think is the favorite child of these two apple trees? All right. Who do you think mommy likes more? All right, this guy right here, because I don't know, man, he's not really producing, he's not really growing no apples, you know what I mean? The apple's falling, the apple wood far close to the tree, but this guy has, doesn't even have any apples, it's just, he's bare. So that's uh, obviously not the favorite, but this guy, holy apple maloli, look at this, apple galore. That's crazy. This guy's like, yo, bro, you need apples? I got your back. I'm the cool son of the, of the family. This guy over here, he's a noob. So we're going to grab these bad boys up. <laughs> and I actually, I'm getting kind of hungry, so I'm going to grab a little bit more, probably from our, our new pond here. Let me just see if there's too many on this apple tree. Uh, yeah, like that one's unnecessary. This one's unnecessary. That's unnecessary. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Uh, and boom. Okay, that's good. That's that's plenty. That's plenty of apples to be had. Uh, and now I have 33, which makes me a lot happier. Now, um, what are we going to do in this episode? Well, I was actually live streaming Attack of the B Team, and I got this lovely setup going. So check this thing out. Ultra, ultra cool. I am so pumped about this thing. It is so cool. Sucky, sucky. Look at those things go. A little provocative, but I love it. I love it. So pretty much, I'm going to explain this uh, system that I got going on the live stream. If you guys want to check out the live stream, it's been live streaming Attack of the B Team a pretty good amount recently. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Wolfles TV down in the description below. I will try and put it, or you just look that up. But it's Wolfles TV. It's not Mr. Wolfles or Wolfles. It's Wolfles TV. So you guys can totally go check that out. I might even be live streaming today. I don't know. But definitely in the next couple days, I'm going to do some Attack of the B Team. I usually prepare for episodes on there. Uh, so it is really fun. And I had a little bit of help getting these autonomous activator set up. So the first thing that you'll see that's different is a fluid duct here. Now, fluid ducts work well with the tinker, with the seared bricks and the smelt tree drain. It actually connects. And the really cool thing is that it literally moves, I would say, 100 times faster than the, the drain, the faucet thing that we had going on because that was way too slow. That was like ridiculously slow. So we got this new fluid duct and it goes so fast. Unfortunately, I don't have any sand in here and I, need, I would need a full stack. It pretty much moves... A stack of, of glass, a stack of, of melted glass or, or sand in 30 seconds. It's crazy. Fills this tank up to half. And then pretty much what happens is these guys start pumping. 
Uh, and the way that works is the autonomous activator is like the Minecraft character. It left clicks or right clicks. Um, you could see, so not sneaking or sneaking. Again, that's if you shift right click or shift left click. Uh, I don't think you really shift, shift left click anything in this game, but uh, shift right click, but you can see right click or left click, and you can do all those really cool options. Now, this is the main option right here, which I'm going to show. So, as you could tell, the autonomous activator is one block behind, so it's aiming at this block, and what it covers is a one by three. So, it covers three blocks high and one block wide. And what I mean by three blocks high is you choose. Do you want it to hit in the middle level, so right pointing forward, uh, right uh, above one block or below one block? You can't do all three, but you can do one of the three options. So obviously I have it pointing down below, and what it's doing is it's right clicking this faucet. And if there's anything in here, it right clicks it, right clicks it, right clicks it, right clicks it. And it takes a little bit of time. It does every little bit by bit but it does it in like a minute and it'll clear this entire tank really quick so I want to actually show you guys if I can let's see if I actually have any sand apparently I have a lot of sand uh, let's do we'll do 64 submit so let's request oh, that's actually really good that I have all that sand that makes me happy all right so we're gonna request the sand and we're gonna put this sand in just take this one stack we're gonna go over here we're gonna let this cook just like this and that is going to fill up here. As you can tell, I got my Tinker's Contract almost to the top. Uh, actually, do I have anything? But anyways, while that's happening, uh, we're going to let this cook. It should take... This is the longest part, the cooking. Uh, and I also am running low on lava. So I'm going to have to do that as well. But I'll do that off camera. But in the meantime, I was thinking my issue is that once I clear out all the molten sand, all the molten glass that's produced, I have an issue of it starts going through the obsidian and then the steel. And it, it doesn't fill up the tank it doesn't mix but it fills up the pipe and it's quite annoying so I went ahead and I was um, thinking about these pipes that I use where I can have those lovely uh, these lovely chips and everything here and I was thinking like can I do something similar for this for the fluid duct so I right click and it says a pneumatic servo must be installed for control I don't know what sort of control we're gonna get but I think we do have a pneumatic servo extra um, let's see if we can uh, we don't all right, so we're going to have to make one, but they are pretty easy to make. Uh, let's just look them up real quick just to see what we need. Pneumatic servo, redstone, glass, and iron. So I think I actually have that all in my crafting station here. That's hardened glass. Uh, I got redstone, though. That's good. All right, so we got redstone. Um, we need iron, and then we need glass. Um, okay. Uh, do I have glass, or do I just have sand? <laughs> I hope I have some glass left over. All right, I do. Uh, we're only going to take out four. Let's get that up here and up and running. Let's go. Boop. Okay. And we need some iron. And I think I have all my iron in here as well. Um, iron. Okay. So we need, we'll just take out four as well. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Let's get that iron going. Yep. All right. Oops. Derp. Okay. There we go. So um, we're going to go here. We are going to go to pneumatic servo. Hit this bad boy. I want a two. And a one, a two, and the redstone and pneumatic servo is complete. And let's go and try and install this thing. Should be a pneumatic servo has been installed. Fluid filter. Fantastic. Okay. Whitelist molten glass. How do we do that? Maybe if I do sand? No. Glass? No. How do I get fluid into there all right interesting interesting hmm let's open up the we're gonna open this up all right can I can I servo this all right come on we gotta try something out here uh, seared glass okay can I release the seared? All right, how do we? How do we do this? I have no idea. You don't put a bucket in. Hold on, let's try putting a bucket of water in there, and then we'll see if the bucket of water will work. Uh, can I fly? Okay, just because I don't know if I need to put it in a bucket or how am I going to get that pneumatic servo to work? Um, trying to figure this out without the help of the internet. Or, you guys, no offense, um, 
Hey, Revenge, how you doing, buddy? Good, good, awesome, awesome, bro, I'm glad. Uh, all right, let's try and do this. Oh, shoot, no, 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 all right, so, no, that doesn't work, that doesn't work. Hmm. Set the filtering for this fluid duct. We want a whitelist. We want a whitelist. Oh, see, molten steel. It's going to come through here. So now we got to go ahead and turn this thing back around to that. And then make this thing pump out. And it should... Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> um, unfill. And we're good to go. See, that's how fast that stuff moves. So then you can check out the autonomous uh, automators. Look at that. So cool. Oh, but now you might be asking yourself, because now that we got something pumping, I can show you guys. You might be asking yourself, well, what's what's going on? And look how fast it actually goes through this. It really, it really does go quickly. It, it adds. It, it does it quick. It does it quick. So if we go down here, check it out. We have our own little other section. And I will link these up eventually to these uh, so that I can just call them. Um, I think I even have the chips to do that. Uh, but look at that. So we're actually filling this thing up. And it doesn't. that doesn't look like a lot, but... Clear glass is pretty hard to come by, so we're, we're filling it up pretty quick, and I'm, I'm hyped about that. I'm hyped about that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to do a little bit of research, unfortunately, on uh, the pneumatic servo. Uh, see how to make that thing work. Probably isn't too complicated, just something that I'm, I'm not looking at or, or not figuring out. Um, and I'll be right back in just a second. All right, so I did a little bit of reading, and I actually found out something cool. Um, as you can tell in just a Oh, no. Oh no, 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 no. Oops. You gotta be kidding me. That's totally empty. And this needs. Okay, okay. I need to have a bucket of lava here somewhere. Oh my lord. Oh, I do. Oh my god, yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Oh man. That was. That was close. That was really close. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lags, lags, lags. Okay. Let's go ahead and pop that in there, and that'll give us just enough to get our molten glass. So, we got rid of my redstone signal here. Check this out. Oh, it still works. So, if you right-click the the pneumo, the pneumatic servo, and you go to redstone control and set it to low, it's actually uh, not going to ignore its own redstone signal. It's going to be give off a low one, which is fantastic because now it's going to power uh, our liquid. Now, the next thing is um, I was speaking to Kraus and I was like, yo, dude, I can't, I can't make it work. And he said, click the white blacklist button in the UI and put in a bucket of that liquid, which is essentially what we were going to uh, do anyways. Um, I couldn't figure out how to do it, but it turns out if you just right click, um, if you just right click this, this tank thing, um, it'll actually fill it up with a molten glass bucket. And then I can come into here and get rid of this bucket here. And then right click and do whitelist that. And oh, cool. I still actually have the bucket, and then maybe I can put it back in. <gasps> wow, that's hype. That's hype. Okay, so now molten glass is whitelisted. Um, and I can. Oh, why are you in there, steel? Don't do this to me, bro. You should be, you should be blacklisted, bro. Bro, bro, bro. No redstone signal, dude. Ugh! All right, time to make another pneumatic servo. We got two glass, we got two reds, we got one redstone like necessary, and we have two iron. And this is why we milk out four of our resources so that we may use it in situations like this. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's uh, pop this bad boy in here. Pew! And then right click it, and then redstone to low. And we are pushing it back. Uh, in just a second, <gasps> but it's whitelisted. Aha! All right, blacklisted. Empty, empty. Oh my god, empty. Good. And then whitelist. No, 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 no. Stop taking it back. Jeez. All right. Yes, yes. Re, Re dude. I will wreck you right now. Okay, like that. And then whitelist. Molten. Good. Good. And let's make it so that molten's down here. Aha! Alright, we win. That is really good. That's going to save me a lot of time because now I get to go here and just take out a whole bunch of sand. We'll do stacks at a time. 
We'll do stacks at a time. I could just take out like three, but my 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 thing only holds a stack. I might have to either make another Tinker's Construct thing or just keep on adding these things in or set up a double chest with a hopper that goes into the controller and automatically feeds this. So we have a fully automatic system. That might need to happen. Don't think I can do that now, but that is still pretty hype. Um, okay, so that's all set up. We got our fully automated uh, molten glass system going here. The question is, what are we going to do with that glass? Well, we have a lot of dyes. Uh, let's let's take out our colors dyes, and I want to just try with a couple. We'll take one of these. We'll take one of these. We'll take one of these. One of these. One of these. Uh, and I might want to go kill a couple like squids and stuff. Oh, and we do have a portable tank, which we actually want to get rid of. And I want to build a reasonable portable tank because that holds sixty-four thousand MBs. And I want to fill that up with lava from the Nether. But that'll come, that'll come. The time will come to do that. The time might be now. What do you need to build it? Uh, Enderium ingots and a reinforced portable tank. And a reinforced portable tank is a hardened portable tank with hardened glass. And a hardened portable tank is a portable tank with invar ingots. <laughs> oh my god. Thankfully we have invar ingots and we have a portable tank. So we can do that really quick actually. Portable tank. Pew, 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 pew. And we got a hardened portable tank. And then we take a hardable, hardened portable tank, and we do a reinforced portable tank. And thankfully, we already have hardened glass. <gasps> oh, my God. Uh, we do this. Bing, 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 bing. And uh, we got a reinforced portable tank. And then to get a reasonable portable tank, we need enderium. And enderium is made how? Uh, if I don't already have it, uh, that's an enderman spawner. That guy, it looks like he's dancing. I kind of like that. Enderium ingot is made Makes a whole bunch of cool things. I think we already have Enderium somewhere. I feel like I've made it. Enderium. Okay, it's not in our chest down below, which is acceptable. Mm, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make some Enderium. We'll get this thing rocking and rolling. I'm also going to fill this stuff up with a whole bunch of things and get the different colored glass ready. And I'll be right back in just a second. Hot and spicy. So that was pretty easy to set up and awesome. Uh, check it out. We got a double chest that is now consuming and sending over uh, sand over to our lovely smell tree. So this is now going to automatically get this thing rocking and rolling. Now the only issue is that... Hmm, it's not going to automatically release because we have this Molten Steel and Molten Obsidian, but that's okay. It's going to fill up a ridiculous amount. Now, we still need more lava, and uh, I got to do some work on this reinforced portable tank to make it into our ultimate ultimate, because we are on episode 31. We are not going for no uh, creative portable tank. Uh, well, we can't do creative, but we're no portable tank, no hardened tank, no reinforced. We're going big or we're going home. We want resonant portable tank. So uh, to do that, like like I was just mentioning, Enderium is uh, proving to be a little difficult to get. Um, I'm going to have to do a lot of work, probably uh, a, a good amount, a good amount. We'll leave it at that. But I did find a lovely little trick where we can get. So if we go to Enderium, I have a hard time popping up how to make it. Uh, let's see here. Mm, come on. How do I make you? I know, I know, I know, I know that. Oh, God. Anyways, we need uh, pyrothium dust. Uh, so we're going to have to do pulverized coal. Going to have to get sulfur, which I think we have. Uh, do we have sulfur? That's why that's nether coal. Whoa. Uh, that's for smelting. Okay, hold on. Um, okay, so pulverize. Okay, that's, that's pretty easy to get. So we can do that. We do have a lot of nether quartz. Oh, but I don't have the actual ore. So I'm going to have to go back into there. So we got a lot of work to do, obviously, as you can see. But there might actually be a better way to get sulfur uh, that we just don't, that we haven't, that I haven't looked up yet. Um, but anyways, uh, that's pretty much what we got going on here. Uh, and I have the recipe on how to make enderium ingots online. And I'm going to do that for some reason. I think we also need a resonant ender bucket, which means we need a magma crucible. And then we got to melt an ender pearl. I don't think we have any ender pearls left. Um, but we're going to need a magma crucible. So we're going to need a lot of things. I don't know if I'm going to get it done in this episode. I think I have time to. Um, but if I don't, I'm probably going to get it done in um, a live stream. But magma cruc crucible is another brick, leadstone energy cell frame, machine frame, uh, easy, easy peasy, 
Uh, do I? I don't have a magma crucible. That's a fluid transposer. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get back to work on this sort of stuff. Get a couple of the things I need. Uh, see what I can get done in a reasonable amount of time, and I'll be right back in just a second while this stuff all automatically cooks. Running low on lava. Running low on lava. But check that out. So then we just move this over, and it'll automatically send out. And we're gonna have an infinite supply of cleared glass. Uh, we do need to get more sand, though, by the way. So that also needs to happen. Let me just cover this up. Just like that, and like that, and then put the rest onto this chest. All right, so, we'll, ooh, wow, laggy dag dag. Uh, so we'll be right back in just a second, guys, and I'll see, uh, I'll keep you guys updated. All right, fun. So I'm going to be going to the nether, and I might as well get two birds with one stone, and I wanted to make this to do auto smelt so that I can, you know, kill things and then automatically get their smelted versions. So we're going to actually go ahead and add another slot modifier to this. There we go, and now I need to go make a magma, not not magma crucible, that's just in my head, that's in my brain. Uh, we actually, oops, we need to get, uh, where is it, what is it called again? Ah, uh, this thing, lava crystal. So we need to get a whole bunch of blaze rods, like a ton of blaze rods, like, hello, where's a blaze spawner? Probably have one in spawn, I'll ask around on the server to see if anyone has a lot of blaze rods. But something to look into, a bucket of lava, which we're going to get a ton of, as well as the uh, the charges or whatever you want to call them. Lava charges, fire charges, and that we need more blaze powder to get. So hopefully someone on the server has a lot of blaze rods, because I don't even think I found another fortress yet. So that's going to be kind of interesting. Oh, I, ha I have. I did kill blazes before, but definitely not enough. So anyways, I'm going to go to the nether, get a whole bunch of things we need. Uh, we need some some stuff. We need a lot of stuff. Q epic four hour later cut. <laughs> um, it's actually been a, a pretty long while, but I am here again with a whole bunch of goodness ready to get a lot of work done. So let's rock and roll. Let's do this thing. So the first thing we need to do is make ourselves a magma crucible. So the magma crucible. Oh, hello. Oh, OBS has been derping up my computer this episode. I don't know. I apologize for that. Is to another brick, a machine frame. A redstone receptor coil, a redstone energy red cell frame, all very, very easy, easy things to make, actually. And we have ourselves a magma crucible. Let's just dip in here real quick. You can just see redstone energy is really just lead ingot, glass, and a block of redstone. And uh, the, ener the machine frame is obviously just the, uh, the glass, gold, and iron. Um, and nether, well, nether brick, you got to at least go and find that. So shouldn't be too hard. I also moved my chest over a little bit just so it could be a straight line here. We can have room to put down the magma crucible, which obviously takes our F. And then we have to expand our, whoa, hello, um, our pipe here to give this bad boy some RF. And it is filling up. Great. So now that we have our magma crucible, we get to make some cool things. We're probably going to have to put an ender pearl in here, which I don't know if I have one. Yeah, Ender Pearls. Uh, I don't know if anyone on the server has even been to the end, so that's going to be that for at least that direction. We won't be able to get um, anything farther because I'm not going to go searching for an Ender, um, an Enderman. There's just no way. It that's ridiculous. That's that's a ridiculous grind that I do not have to do because I can get help from the server, no problem. I'm sure someone has something somewhere that will help me uh, in getting my Ender Pearl. But in the meantime, we also have a couple else, uh, a couple other things to do. We said we wanted to get not the magma cream, but the uh, the magma. What is it? The magma gem or the the ember gem or whatever it is. Uh, in which case, we would need the blaze rods. Now, the only thing is, is that it took me a really long time to get these seven blaze rods. I actually died once. You could tell my levels are 24. Uh, so I don't really want to just waste them on anything. I really do want to make uh, that uh, ingot. So I'm probably going to keep this because we need to make the dust. Um, which, if we look here, this... Uh, pyrothium dust, um, I think. So that's sulfur, pulverized coal, and redstone. And the sulfur is from uh, nether quartz, pulverizing nether quartz. So I actually grabbed a whole bunch of nether quartz. Uh, we are going to go ahead and pulverize a full stack of that thing. So let's submit this, drag this bad boy all up in here, and we will rock and roll. Let's see. Aha! 64 nether quartz. Drag it into our pulverizer. Jeebus. I don't know what is going on here. Hold on one sec. What is going on? Uh, max FPS. Okay, okay, okay. Well, what what you doing that for, buddy? Why are you freaking out like that? All right, calm down. 
Um, maybe it's like something underneath me or something. It's like, I don't know. For some reason, I'm getting these these crazy, crazy drop frames. Uh, if anyone knows what that is about Attack of the Beats, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, so anyways, while this is uh, cooking and getting going, I think we're going to have to transform into Chef Wuffles. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome to Cooking with Wuffles with our friend here, Wilbert. Wilbert, say something, Wilbert. Come on, buddy. You wanted to be in the show today. God, it's every time. He always freezes up when the camera starts rolling. Dude, you were freaking out before. Here, you want an apple, buddy? Oops. You want an apple? Okay, good boy, good boy. All right, but I want you to be, look, be a little bit more animated, buddy. Come on, we're on... Anyways, my God, unprofessional, unprofessional today. We are making coffee. I, I feel like it's an important thing to, to make, especially today. I've been working really hard lately, and I've been making a lot of coffees to help me get through the long days. Something that I would recommend doing in 100% moderation like everything else, but uh, definitely have been having like one a day, maybe if that, maybe one every two days to kind of really give me a kick on the, on the moments that are necessary. And I've been doing a lot of building and work today in Attack of the B2 now. Look at this. I made a little bird bath. <laughs> um, so, you know, I've been working hard. I'm working really hard. So sometimes I just need a little pick-me-up. I need a little bit of coffee. So, well, what do we need for coffee? We're going to need this uh, filled kettle. Um, we are going to need, and I think that's looks like it's steaming. Uh, we're going to need a mug. Thank you very much. Uh, actually, let's do the mug first. So the mug is going to go on the bottom of the recipe, and we're going to fill the mug with, with our coffee. Um, just, just at least the, the, the actual coffee itself. So we're going to have to go get, get some, some coffee beans. Um, grind those up in a little coffee grinder. Wilbert! Come on, dude! Wilbert. Jeebus. Alright, let's go ahead and put that, put that in the workshop top. Put the coffee in there. Get some coffee dust. Fantastic. Put the coffee grinder back in. Wilbert, don't touch it. Oh, God. Uh, we got, we need a sugar. And we're gonna get our coffee mix by combining it like so. Like so. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Uh, next we have our filled kettle, and we also need to get a mug of milk. Uh, a milk bucket, which actually took me a really long time to get. I hope it's a milk bucket and not a bucket of milk. Um, anyways, we got the milk, the hot water, and we got our coffee with milk and sugar. That's how you like it. Uh, let's actually put our kettle back. Uh, we'll put our empty bucket back as well. And, uh, ooh, a biscuit. Can you make some sort of a... Special cookie here, perhaps? Hmm, two wheat. Oh, darn, I don't have two wheat. I think I only have one. Let me go check. Hmm, I'm pretty sure I only have one. That's a bummer. Yeah, let's just go check real quick. Uh, super, super, super quick check. See if I have one or two wheat. Ah, I only have one. Sorry about that, guys. No cookie today. No cookie today. I do need to go get more wheat, apparently. Go to the village or see if anyone has some extra ones. But let's go to our lovely, lovely kitchen and see if we can... Oh, this is awkward. Wilbert, help me, Wilbert. Help me, Wilbert. <laughs> All right, become bat. Become bat. I do need to make a staircase so that I may become human more often because I am trying to do that. I don't, I, it's not that I don't like the morphs. I'd rather be human, uh, if that makes any sense. All right, so let's drink our coffee. And we will be able to go on with our day and be all hyped. Uh, uh, I am not thirsty, apparently. Gosh darn it, Wilbert, I blame you. Alright, well, let's, Wilbert, do you like the coffee? Let's find out. Is that good? You need something to wash it down? Here, have an item ducked. Okay, apparently he didn't like the item ducked. <laughs> Alright, let's grab these things back. What does Wilbert have? Gee, Miss Wilbert, you've been going ham. Ah, uh, you got those dynamic item responders. I don't even want those. See, now Wilbert's going crazy. He doesn't know. He doesn't know I'm recording. Oh no, no, no! I'm not recording, Wilbert. I'm not recording, Wilbert. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Oh my God! Look at him go. Yes. No. All right, come on, buddy. Come on. Oh my God. <laughs> Wilbert, Wilbert, get the apple. What are you trying to bite, Wilbert? You like? Have you gone rabid? That's uh, dude. Oh my god, he's not okay. Someone call 911! Wilbert! Wilbert! I think it's the coffee, guys. I think the coffee's made him, like, really hyper. Wilbert! You okay, buddy? 
All right, he's calmed down. Wow, that coffee. Let me see what's wrong with this coffee. Doesn't seem to be wrong. Whoa! Oh my god! Yeah, I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> all right, that's going to be the episode of Back of the B Team. Guys, if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button. I'll see you guys all later. Have a great rest of the day. Take care, and goodbye.